This video is a comparative view of the A-frame coil and the slant coil exported well, from a bunch of upcoming to maintenance videos. where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. All right, so this is an A-frame coil. Uh, it was converted, which I really don't like. I have nothing but trouble with the uh, A-frame coils in that you can hardly get into anything. What I want is just access to the... There we go. That's good. Just access to those joints right there. And... Those are your normal leak points. Oh man, I had a filter over this and they, they removed it. But uh, oh. we actually need to see in there, so I'm gonna pop it in. I wanna express here that there's nothing actually wrong with the A-frame coil. Some of this is my own frustration over the experience in that my units are designed to work with the slant coil and so a lot of my experience is uh, based on that. The A-frame coil actually right. does have larger surface area Definitely. and there's a little bit more to Let's it. Let's see a little easier. So now, it's funny because I can see in the camera better than I can in real life. Not that I can see what I'm looking for because I'm looking for that leak. I don't like the A-frame coil. The slant coil for me is just so much easier to clean and deal with. Let's try my zoom function. Let's see if we can... Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm still learning this, this thing. rest of the plumbing here and nothing you got plumbing under here it does hit the floor right there got nothing there nothing 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 but nothing it goes through the studs back there can't really get in there well, you wait and see what it does in three months. If it goes low again, then I know we need the, the dye. Go from there, or I can just get the dye. I have to research that. Check it out. Fun, fun, fun. Here's a deal I made to make it nice and easy to purge air from the line, just by releasing this anytime if it gets air locked. The hot water, then we can open the bleed line. Makes it much easier yeah. uh, to take it all apart and everything. Now yeah, it's a fast, fast bleed. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so here it is checking the leak for this one, second one. Didn't have any luck on the first one. And this one, I may need uh, the die test on as well. But charged it and it's getting nice and cold. But going to try to find this leak. But also wanted to show you the difference between the A frame coils and the slant coil. So this one's a slant coil. I'll show you right here. 
right here is a service door switch that's been looks like it's taped shut most likely been bypassed actually uh, but here's the slant coil and uh, the capillary tube the metering device for this unit is the capillary tube system we're going to be getting into the different types of metering right. devices in upcoming you can see videos. the coil now the conditions are in most of your leaks occur at the Trader valves, but uh, the second point is is the uh, evaporator coil. You can see the conditions it's in. It gets wet. It gets rust. So you know, most of the time a leak is at the Schrader valves, and then this is the second most often place. I don't see anything there. I check the solder joints. Those are likely suspects any place there's a connection and then I'm just checking all the tubing after that now we can only see this side can't really see the other side and that's where you'd need the UV the dye I don't see any leaks here sometimes I like to use my electronic leak detector to sniff out for leaks and uh, and then use this to follow up and prove exactly where it's at. But I don't see a leak at all, so it's nice and cold. We'll add this and we'll go ahead and get our cover back on. And that'll be that. Uh, this one's gonna start frosting up real fast. But anyway, that's the slant coil, the difference between the slant coil and the A coil. I actually like these a lot better because Wow, it's time, time for a coil cleaning. <laughs> but usually, originally, the filter would sit right, right here, uh, right up against the coil. We've converted ours to be in the hallway just to make it faster and easier to change filters, but it's actually a little bit better for the filter to be right here in that there's less dust and stuff being sucked in. Um, but anyway, for ease of, of changing it and getting things done and keeping things going, we've converted them to the hallway always just to make it easier and then you don't have to go into somebody's closet and they don't have to clear you know access to it and all that just to change the filter and the more convenient something is that you make it a, a ability to do it the, the more likely that you know it's gonna it's gonna happen and get done this one has like a mailbox latch so now I turn that latched it and then we've got our extra screw here to anchor this closed and then some foil tape to make it more efficient, but that's that. Here's the slant coil in action. I actually had one that was frozen up and this was mostly defrosted, but I thought I'd show you uh, how the moisture hugs the bottom and runs down into the pan, which is pretty cool. I thought that uh, something interesting to see that you don't see every day. So I'm sure many of you AC techs have much more insight into these things than I do. I just kind of showing it in a comparison with my limited understanding and, and exposure to the different types of coils. Uh, but any insight and inputs that you have, if you'd leave them in the comments below so that others can benefit by and we can all kind of share information and understanding and grow in our understanding and knowledge uh, is helpful. Uh, and, uh, you know, opinions are welcome too. you know, your, your own opinions, your own insights. Uh, it's all kind of welcome and all kind of fun to share and, and uh, create community uh, around, um, you know, the way these things work and your personal experiences with them. So thanks for sharing and thanks for commenting and watching and appreciate it. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance over and out. Yep, so I got a ton more videos to be bringing to you and sharing to you. I got a ton of footage to edit from different things that happened. Um, from I had an air condition frozen on the roof. I had another unit that was low on Freon. And this particular video itself, these uh, uh, I had a different refrigerant leaks and, and different trying to track things down. So going to be sharing those videos with you as well. Um, so be on the lookout for more Kung Fu Maintenance. Thanks for watching and sharing in the experience and sharing your insight too in the comments below you know anything that you see that that you find interesting that you can share and comment on uh you know it's it's fun to talk about these things and delve into these things and experiences you've had with a unit uh low on freon 
you know, let me know about things that happened to you in the comments below. I like to read those.